Well, hello guys, and welcome back to Goose Shoot RC and Music Channel. Uh, as you can see in front of us, we got the Everest 10. This is a new addition to the collection that we decided to go with. Um, kind of a fan of the way that they styled out the metal uh, chassis and everything like that. Metal steering links and just a bunch of metal upgraded parts. Um, you can go further and get some better quality ones, of course. Uh, as you can see, I went ahead and got me some Amazon special beadlock rims and tires. Uh, these are kind of like a Hyrex 2.2 uh, LP uh, mock. Uh, so they they act very similar. Um, they do just as much as a Hyrex would. Uh, about the same price point as well. Uh, maybe a little bit cheaper since they actually come with some beadlocking rims and uh, there's actually a specialty tool that comes with these uh, four wheel package deal. Um, and it helps you um, assemble your beadlock and tires a lot quicker, uh, holds them in place for you. Um, additionally, uh, when I ordered the Everest 10, I went ahead and got the light kit as well. Very easy to install. Uh, everything kind of just snaps and pops together. Um, you can go a little bit further and add some uh, cement glue so that everything's a little bit more trustworthy of staying and holding together. <laughs> but um, as you can expect from uh, a stock ready to roll something this tall and that much clearance um, it's it's got some weight to it being that it does have several metal parts um, but in addition to it uh, being so tall and the clearance that it has it tends to be a little heavy and wants to roll over so um, things like that can be um, modified and adjusted uh, not a not a lot of work honestly um, things such as like a print a pin spring mod um, you can get uh, a couple of different um, four link suspension parts and just uh, adding some uh, extra brackets actually to the um, the metal frame there uh, I forget what they're specifically called but they they add length to the frame and then you can either push your shocks further out or inwards and you can get way more uh, droop to this thing which is eventually probably going to happen to this thing. Um, but for being stock, I just wanted to show you guys um, the new addition and kind of what it can do on a rock climb. So without further ado. Now out of the box, this thing is uh, lipo capable, so you can uh, you can convert over to 2S lipo pretty easily. I haven't done so just yet. Yeah, this thing is just super super uh, tippy. To put uh lightly it's also hard to do one-handed I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube of different modifications done to this uh, particular model and it can be a pretty impressive uh, rock crawler once you know some mods are done to it and such I like the fact that you can set up the drag brake to, out of the box, it comes 100% set, uh, but you can set it to 50 or zero. Uh, pretty cool option. Um, there is a an opportunity to add uh, rear steering for this thing. You know, you just got to get a, a servo plate, uh, a couple brackets, and um, an additional servo. Um, some steering links, and you're set. Uh, you pretty much just match the front. And uh, you're good to go with that, and you'll have four wheel steering. Um, I'm not sure as far as the uh, transmitter here. Um, after looking at it, you gotta pop the top. Most of you guys already know what this looks like, but for you that don't, um, there's not really, you know, compared to the other transmitters like the Ridge Rock or the uh, Ridge Runner, you know, you have a different. Um, 
a button that you can push. I'm assuming maybe you could push the bind and that'll um, change things up as far as maybe a, a steering um, op option. But I'm not completely 100% sure. You guys could drop comments and let me know. Um, I haven't seen videos where guys really discuss that part after they do the four-wheel steering upgrade. I don't know how, if it's like permanent four-wheel steering afterwards or if you can push the bind button and change the uh, steering steering modes. So leave me a comment. Let me know. I'm interested to find that out. I haven't done enough research on that yet. So back to the truck. Um, these tires are pretty decent. I mean, I think it was around sixty dollars. You know, after shipping and handling and stuff like that, to uh, to get them, but. They uh they perform a, just like the Hyrax tires, and, you know. I'm not not disappointed there. Um, definitely wasn't disappointed. I read reviews on them too. A lot of guys were saying, you know, these screws they strip out real easy. But um, in my industry of work, you know, I deal with a lot of small screws and screws that are very capable of stripping out if you put them in the wrong places and such like that. But it's a delicate thing. These are RCs. Got to have a delicate touch to them sometimes. So I get that uh, there are better materials to use out there as far as screws, bolts, nuts, everything like that. Uh, turning radius isn't the greatest on this either when it's stock out of the box, but you get used to it. You just got to back her up sometimes and go back over. You guys know the routine. yeah that's pretty fun i like the led kit they came with it they're pretty bright and i can't wait to uh do a night test run with them all right let's get in front of this guy Like I said earlier, I'm one-handed doing this. It's a little challenging. I love the drag brake, how it just it lets it lock itself into place, so to speak, on rocks. Instead of slipping so much, you don't have to brake it. So I guess that's why they call it drag brake. It doesn't going to allow it to slip. Okay. Doesn't want to go up this part of the climb, so... This thing has major body rub issues so far. Um, that's okay, a little trim. No problem. She's gonna tip over if I keep playing with it like this. There we go. Just gotta find that line. Thing is slowly like tweaked out. <laughs> See if we can back up, we'll get a little flatter, possibly just roll straight into. There we go. See, sometimes you don't even have to turn. You just kind of got to keep your wheel straight.
are so good. I mean, it's capable, guys. I mean, this is. Yeah, take your time. It's a little bit of a slower crawler, you know. Nothing wrong with that. You get more technical with it, you know. But she does pretty good, surprisingly. You just gotta carefully choose your lines, and uh, it won't really tip over as much. Um, it is very capable of rolling over. It rolled over a couple times so far, but you just take your time, choose your lines carefully. This thing will impress you with what it can do. And yeah, we just went all the way down there, turned around and came all the way back up. Made a full circle. Ended up here. There we are. So, that is the uh, Everest 10. It's all stock, except for the tire so far. That's the only thing I've done, other than the lights. And the lights don't add any uh, type of performance. They just add light. <laughs> so, performance-wise, these tires, they they do pretty well. I like them. I don't feel like I wasted my money on them. So, um, I'm sure there's a lot of other ones out there that are probably way better. But, you know, it's to each his own in this type of hobby. You know, it's whatever makes you happy. Whatever stands out to you. Whatever you like. Um, you can go off of others' opinions, and uh, some people can attest, you know, uh, I've had these before, and this is the problems that I experienced, that type of scenario, but you guys just uh, get whatever you like, you know, this stuff's all about your design and, and your, your preferences, so you guys enjoy, have a great day, happy holidays.